Griddle Master. Let's see what we got. Are you ready? I can't wait. Will this work? We're out on my side yard. Here is the medium griddle. Uh, we don't have to be all clean when they want to turn it over. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here again. Getting ready to cook up an incredible meal. We're gonna do some rice. And the pot, as you can see, is heating up, trying to boil the water. We're gonna do filet mignon. Have four delicious filet mignons that we've already put salt and pepper on. They've been getting to almost room temperature. Took them out of the refrigerator for a little bit, so that way as we sear them, it's uh, a lot easier to cook the filet well and, and control the temperature inside. And then we're going to do some shrimp, garlic buttered shrimp, uh, real popular in Hawaii. Um, if y'all don't know, I lived in Hawaii for probably three and a half years back in the 80s, um, being in the Marine Corps. I was stationed in Kaneohe Bay and had a great time serving our country, uh, eating good food, just uh, enjoying life back in my teenage years and then in my 20s. Now my son is finishing up and he's about to get out in about 14 days. What I'm doing here is I'm putting the fillets on skewers. Y'all are probably freaking out thinking, what is he doing? But we are going to sear those bad boys. These are going to be incredible. Help if I pop the lid off. Incredible tasting. Fillets. Let's see how our water is doing. It's just about ready to boil for our rice. The fillets, hopefully I didn't put them on too soon. It's really hoping the rice is going to be further along. Really want this to boil and probably if I crank it up right here, that will be a good thing. So. The other thing I, I need to do is we have um, 20 shrimp and we basically have 20 cloves of garlic. And I wanted to introduce everyone to what we call the lawn mower. This is a very nice tool for doing onion, garlic. I'm going to take all 20 cloves, I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to mince. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. How awesome is that? Is it focusing in? That's it. Done. Done. And you know what? If you actually were to see the sizes, let me just turn this. They're all pretty consistent. They're all pretty consistent. Now I know that you see those steaks over there cooking up. We're going to do about three minutes on each side. This is going to have, realistically, six sides. We're going to take it and do four sides going around, then we're going to take the sear off and we're going to sear the top and bottom. Wait till you see how that turns out. So, we have our flour for our shrimp. We have our paprika. And we have our cayenne. Adds a little spice to it. I'm going to mix it up. Step back a little bit off the grill. This is going to be our coating for the shrimp. Whew. And that's why we do it outside, right guys? Okay. 
take our shrimp. Put them in. Let's dust them up on both sides. Now I'm trying to get the shrimp all ready because once that butter hits that grill, you know what time it is. It's go time. So I'll separate the shrimp a little bit. Put the rest in here. Again, getting both sides well coated. Now this is a real popular dish. If you look, Mackey's Shrimp Truck. M-A-C-K-Y. Mackey's Shrimp Truck. They do this in Hawaii. You have uh, several on the North Shore. Real popular on the North Shore of Oahu. Yeah, I could say all this stuff without any any slang, any, any uh, mispronunciations. We go there every year. Uh, the real popular popular place is the Kahukus. Yep, the Kahukus. I'm going to go ahead and get my tongs. The Kahukus in Hawaii. Let's go ahead and let me get another another set of tongs. Really? You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> this is... Look at that. Let me see you do that on a barbecue. Let me see you do that on a grill. Look at that steak. You ain't doing that on a barbecue pit. Unless you have flames coming all up and it's going crazy. So... We're gonna go ahead and let me check. I hope, I hope, I hope. Yes, we have boil. Let's drop the rice. Let's mix the rice. Let's cover the rice. Let's bring this temperature back down. Let's slide this back just a little. Because remember, we just want it on low. We just want it to simmer. And simmer, it will do. If I wanted to, I could transfer it to the grill over here. I, I'm not even, I don't even have this hot right here. So, um, simmer is what it's doing there. Steaks are going. We're going to drop some butter. Yeah, I'm doing it on this side. I'm doing it on this side because I know that the grill is just a, li a little bit slanted to this side. Let's get all of our garlic out. Oh, I love garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Can't get enough garlic. Okay, we don't want this to burn. And then we'll start dropping our shrimps. Wow. If you had smell o vision. I'm, I'm doing 20 shrimp. The way they serve it in Hawaii, they give you two scoops of rice. about eight shrimp and uh, a little salad for 12 bucks not a bad deal a lot of people stop by and do that so we're gonna move it over where we can control it a little better Can you do this in the frying pan? Absolutely. Can you do it outside? Absolutely. Can we do our steaks at the same time? 
Absolutely. Now's the trick. Okay, and we're going to set that right there. All right. Let these bad boys fry up a little. Look at that, you don't even have to babysit them too much. So, we have our steaks going, we have our shrimp going, we have our rice going. Pretty soon, I'm going to be chowing down. And y'all just get to look at this. So, these shrimp are about 20 U. You know, 15 to 20 in that range. You don't want little baby shrimp. You want something that you can have some meat on. I want to make sure we get all this garlic because it is called garlic shrimp. Garlic buttered shrimp. Steaks are going well. Steaks are looking well. I'm going to go ahead and get this little more olive oil on there. Love to hear that noise. Um, see how the bottoms of... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, boy. You don't want them to burn. Just want them nice and toasty. Doing this on the griddle, man, just makes it so much easier. We don't have to be all clean when they want to turn over. Get all this butter out. Mixed in. Steaks are going well. Rice is going. If I wanted to do, if I wanted to do some vegetables, to do some vegetables. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it. I'm gonna dump this on first, and I'll explain later. Right after. I'm just cooking this up. This is some garlic. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and. Just squirt a little bit of olive oil over here. I'm going to move the shrimps over just a little so they don't keep cooking real high because they're pretty well done. These are little slivers of garlic. Now I make a killer um, ziti with broccoli. Alright, I want to be careful. I don't know how hot these tongs are going to be, but I do want to do my next flip. And let them just hit them with another searing. So I do a killer ziti with broccoli. Again, I told you I, I cooked in an Italian restaurant for three years back in the early 80s. And um, I fell in love with ziti with some broccoli. That's a, uh, a ziti with, you could put almost any kind of, uh, of the pasta, but we like ziti best of all. And Alfredo sauce. And the slivers of garlic, the wife bought me this toy. You drop in sliver the garlic cloves, into there and you just turn and turn and they come out the bottom with razor blades nice little slivers I fell in love I was like oh because you know I'm trying to cut these this thin 
is darn near impossible. Darn near impossible. And so right now, this is what I would be doing for the ziti with broccoli. I would have garlic like that, and then I would put it in the pan. So I've been just trying to do slivers, but then I end up just using the lawnmower and um, putting just some of the garlic like that in there. But I prefer it like this, without a doubt. So the shrimps are good to go. Let's go ahead and finish the shrimps up. We'll put those on a plate. Let's move them over. Get them up nice and toasty. Take our garlic. Move it to the back. Back of the bus for the garlic. The garlic looks good. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to take it off and put it in the bowl. All right. So, our shrimps are good to go. We're going to finish them up with just a little bit. Of course, a little bit more butter. And finally, some white wine. Burning all that alcohol off. Make sure it all gets mixed in well. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get this plate. Yowza. We want that butter. We want that wine. friends, garlic butter shrimp. I don't know about you, but you don't get any. Trust me, it's good. All right, time to move these fillets. In fact, I can just grab it right here. Lift up, hopefully, and there they go. You know I don't want to touch that. All right, there we go. So, I can kill the fire on this side. Nope, forgot, I'm still sauteing over there. So I'm going to leave the one on. I'm doing the rice. How about that? The rice has about, about eight more minutes to go. Maybe nine. And the steaks have about four more minutes. We want to do three minutes on each side roughly. So. Put some more oil. Now you can move them around and speed it up. Look at that. That's good enough. Looky there. Looky there. I can't tell you enough about how awesome it is to do filet mignon on a griddle. So we have a few minutes to kill. We'll check back in in a little bit and uh, see how the fillets turn out. 
the shrimp in a little bit will um, cool off where we can get them in our mouth because right now they're on fire and the rice will be done. So, hope you're enjoying watching filet, garlic butter shrimp, and rice all outside on the griddle, all at once. If you plan it better, have that rice down to about 15 minutes left of cooking, it'll all come together perfect. But I'm just showing you, I'm just out here, I'm just a, I'm just a griddle master Joe trying to help you catch the passion for griddling, just like me. There is no perfect plan. We're just guys out here, women, guys, children that love the griddle. Let's griddle up America. Hey, Griddle Master Joe back at you with the filet mignon and the rice finishing up. Clint flip this. Ah. Ah. Do you think I'm playing? You can't imagine. Now what I did, just so you those of you that are following Griddle Master, look how narrow the edge is over here. Look how wide it is over here. I'm using the wide edge to heat the, the pot for rice. And I narrowed it so that I could get this side of the griddle really hot. And that's what we want. So there are our fillets. Let's plate them. Now what we're going to do is just let them set here a little bit, but uh, we're going to cover them with aluminum foil for about 10 minutes. Let all the juices return back in. Let them still stay hot. And, uh, and then we're going to chow down on them. So let me go ahead and set it over here and show you the rice is done. Get my spoon. Perfect rice. Let me go ahead and just grab a towel here. Just set this right here. I could turn my fire off on all ends. Lift that up. And if you could look, there is no burned bottom. It is well done. Perfect rice on the griddle outside. The wife has the table all ready. The drinks are set. And we're about to go chow down. So, hope you enjoyed seeing filet mignon, butter garlic shrimp, rice, all on the griddle. Thank you for watching GriddleMaster.com. Joe Weeks here, Griddle Master Joe. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check back real soon, and we'll have some more recipes. I do it over the weekend so that I can do my other job during the week. And uh, if you have any special requests, let me know and we will uh, do anything we can on the griddle. Have a blessed day.